Hey guys, it's me, Mrs. Stilianu. Here I am. Hi. So today we're going to be working on making our painted paper collage in the style of Eric Carl. We learned about him in our last class. Today we have our background paper that we made last week. And we have this paper that has two colors on it that we made as well last week. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting out the shapes for our flamingos and we're gonna be um, assembling it. So here's what I'll have you guys do. First thing will be to cut this paper in half right at the line where the two colors meet. You see what I just did there? All right, now we're just gonna be using pink for now. I wanna show you the shape that we'll be using for our flamingo. So we're gonna be making a few shapes on here and then we're gonna cut them out and assemble them and glue them. So here are the shapes that you're going to need. So you're going to need a large circle. That's going to be for his belly, okay? You're going to need the shape for the head, which is going to look something like that, okay? You maybe you can make it as long as your paper. You can make it extra long. And then, you're going to need the shapes for the two legs that he's going to be standing on. So if you've ever seen a flamingo, they have a pretty large joint, kind of like a knee joint, just like that. So you have to kind of fit these in your page. It might be a little hard to fit, but we'll find a way. That's just kind of how it is. You want them to be about even length, just like that. So those are our shapes. I'll pause it so that you guys can take a minute to make those shapes. It doesn't matter if your flamingo's head faces this way or if it faces the other way. In my videos, what tends to happen is it flips. So um, actually, I drew it the other way in, my, in real life. So you'll see it on the board, but you can draw it either way. You have that option. Once you have them drawn, what you're gonna do is cut out your shapes. And then once we have the shapes cut out, we're going to play with our arrangement. So you can begin, I'm just working along with you. I've probably checked your shapes to make sure that you did it the right way, and I'm sure you did. So just be sure of yourself. All right, so I'm just cutting out each shape, just like I drew it. Now, I don't want to discard my scraps because I'm going to use them. All right. So I'm cutting out this head now. Okay. I know you can't see the shapes that I've cut out, but I'll show them to you again in a minute. So again, I'm not gonna throw away my scraps because I need them. I'm just very carefully cutting out each of my shapes. Okay, so those were four shapes that I made, right? So I made the head, I made the body, right? And I made the two legs. Easy peasy, right? Easy does it. So now, what I'm gonna need is my glue. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to place the body. So I'm gonna put the glue on the back side. Now you guys are using a glue stick. I'm using Elmer's glue because I'm working vertically and I just think it'll work better for me. But anyway, you guys have a glue stick. So I'm gonna place it smack in the center, just like that. All right, and now I'm gonna be placing my head. So check it out. Now I wanna show you guys a little trick that you'll probably 